You know what I mean? They had me in some uh, tight ass orange pants that damn near gave me a, a, a start of the fire. I couldn't fit them. They were too small. Then they tried to make me put on panties. I'm not putting on no panties. I hit hard bars. You can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo, and y'all today I'm coming to y'all with an explanation video on about what happened. I know a lot of y'all got questions and wondering why I went to jail and what happened. Now, what I'm gonna do is, sorry y'all, I just felt like my face was so dry. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a marker right here in the corner um, on the video where I told the story time about me going to jail for what I went to jail for this time, okay? So, with that being said, basically, um, go over there, watch the video. It'll basically tell you about my story time about why I went to jail. Now, with that being said, I totally forgot when I moved to Arizona that I had that ticket. Now, I'm not getting mail in Arizona about, you know, stuff back here at home. So, it totally slipped my mind until I got pulled over two days ago. Okay? So, basically, what happened was um, me and my best friend and the kids. And, of course, some of y'all seen on my Snapchat, Mimi was with us. We just went out, you know, to do something with the kids together because it's been a while since they had us to all together. So we wanted to do something. So we took them to Chuck E. Cheese, right? So after we left Chuck E. Cheese, I'm riding home. Now, some of y'all know I had the issue with my rental car when I got here. They didn't accept my Chime car or my Cash App. And those are my main two ways I use my money. Like, those are what I use. So... When I um, got here, I couldn't get a rental through them. So I got a um, high school friend. He actually, you know, he goes through, um, he does like, uh, here I go with the brain free stuff. He um, goes to the auction and he gets vehicles and he sells them. That's his business. So he was nice enough to let me rent one of his vehicles. Now, the vehicle that I rented um, only had dealership plates to where you can drive to from the dealership or from the auction to home on them. I don't know if he thought like I would be good maybe here in Milwaukee in the inner city or you know because I was kind of far out at a Chuck E. Cheese far out. Now the reason we were so far out is because I went to a Chuck E. Cheese here in my hometown and I just really wanted to enjoy my kids enjoy you know the time with them but as soon as we walked through the door people wanted pictures people was noticing me like it was Pat, like super duper pat. So I'm like, I want to go to a different one. So we end up going to one far out. So, you know, normal day we kick in, we have fun. Woo -woo. So we leave. Y'all wondering what's on my wrist? It, it, it's the jail band. I, I, you know, I, I don't know why I took it off. Yeah, I think I wanted to show y'all for proof that I was really like in jail, y'all. But I'm going to cut it off when I'm done with this video. Honestly, I forgot it was on my wrist until I just looked down and seen it. But, so we leave Chuck E. Cheese. I get pulled over. Normal traffic stop. Ooh. He like, um, the plates, the reason I pulled you over is because the plates that you have on the vehicle don't match the vehicle. I'm like, what? So I call my guy who I got the car from. <clears throat> and y'all, my voice is a little hoarse. I think it's because it's super cold here. My voice, I don't know, I just lost my voice. But... Um, he like, yeah, so I call the policeman, like, you know, they don't match. So I call my guy. I'm like, bro, like they saying the plates that the tip plates on the car don't match. And they like, I'm pulled over. He like, no, yes, they do. So I'm like, oh man, I'm like, um, okay, I'll call you back. So I'm sitting, I'm waiting on them to bring my license back. Cause I know my license is valid. <clears throat> and he's like, um, you're all good, woo, but you have a warrant for Germantown. I'm like, what? 
yeah, you have a warrant. Uh, can you step out the car? I'm like, now the whole time we waiting on the policeman to come back to the car, we joking about me going to jail. Then it dawned on me, you're going to jail. <laughs> like for real. So I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, oh man. So I step out the car. They, you know, put me in cuffs, tell me they're taking me to um, Washington County. They moved me twice while I was there. So they tell me they're taking me to Washington County, tell me like, um, you have a bail bond of $500 or you have to do eight days in jail. Excuse me. Eight days. I'm no thug. Even though I look like this. Softy. I'm not doing eight day days in jail. What? No, hell no. So I'm like, oh my God. I tell Mimi like, Take my phone, call this person, this person, this person. I got this much. Call dude, get his car. Like, y'all, it was just so much. Like, literally. I'm, and it's two days here. And it, I, in my mind, I'm just like, dude, all I wanted to do is come see my family and my babies. Like, I'm going to go to jail. Push come to shove. My cousin, uh, my cousin Vina, shout out to my cousin Vina, y'all. Y'all might have seen her on my Snapchat. Y'all go run her Snapchat up. It's Vina underscore Cannon. Shout out to my baby mama. I know a lot of y'all feel a certain way. I can't help that. But I just want to publicly thank her for, you know, busting the moves she had to move, busting the moves she had to make to get me out of jail. Because... Honestly, nobody else took it upon themselves to come get me at four in the morning. You feel me? So I just want to thank her for that. Um, yeah, so I went to jail. You know, they came and they paid my bail. Who is this pulling up? Oh, this is my sister. They came and paid my bail and I got out. It was like four in the morning and I came home. And that's pretty much why I went to jail, y'all. I know it sounds like a lot, but it'll make way more sense if y'all go over and watch this video in one of these corners. I don't know where they leave the marker. But go watch the video, y'all. I'm going to link it right here again. And y'all would understand more, like, what happened. You feel me? I appreciate y'all, my mafia. Thanks for everybody who was checking up me on me. Thanks for everybody who was uh, willing to help, you know, with, with bail and all that stuff. Y'all, the money I spent, I did not have to spend on that. So I'm just, again, reiterating, you know what I'm saying? Any little bit helps. I'll link my cash app right here. If y'all want to send me some, just a blessing for me to get through these couple weeks, man, I would appreciate it so much, like, from the bottom of my heart. And I just want to say that y'all some real ones because I was reading the snaps and I was reading the DMs and I'm like, well, Mafia ain't playing. You feel me? Shout out to Charlie Mack, my best friend who, you know, thought it was a prank at first. My mama thought it was a prank too. <laughs> y'all, it was just all over the place. But yeah, I'm free and I'm good. I actually got to call the courthouse to make sure that me paying that 500 covers the ticket and not just me getting out. Um, cause I don't want to go to jail again. You know what I mean? They had me in some, uh, tight ass orange pants that damn near gave me, a, a, a started a fire. I couldn't fit them. They were too small. Then they tried to make me put on panties. I'm not putting on no panties. They made me take my hair down. That's why my mama had to rebraid me and give me these braids. They made me take my hair down, y'all. I love that hairstyle. I wasn't done rocking it yet. But all in all, I'm good, y'all. I'm safe. I'm sound. I'm at my home. I'm with my babies. Logan there on the computer. Ava sleep. So I'm chilling. Um, everybody else going to do laundry. So I'm just cool. And I thought I'd make this video to let y'all know that I'm good. And there's more videos coming. Got some videos coming with the babies. I got a couple collabs I'm going to do on other people's channels. I still want y'all to go over to their channels and support because, you know, I'm doing it for my city. I'm doing it to help them out, other YouTubers from Milwaukee. Um, 
Go check the community tab. I did post something in there. I'm going to do a Q&A update for all my new subscribers who have not really been formally introduced to Logan and Ava. I know y'all know I got kids and y'all know I haven't seen them, but y'all don't know like them. So if you want to go on over to the community tab, drop a comment or a question down below. It's going to be me, Ava, and Logan doing the Q&A and we're going to mukbang during it. Uh, I know y'all wondering what's going on with the talent show. Talent show will start back up this Thursday. Um, most definitely. It's just that coming here on Wednesday it was so hectic. I had so much going on. I was going through the stuff with the rental car and it was just, it was just a lot. Okay. But other than that, y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. i mafia. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. It's a lot of bangers coming, y'all. We finna get it in. Some videos with my mama. If you not have me on Snapchat, go add me right now. I'll leave my snap right here. Right here. So y'all can go add me on Snap, okay? Because I'm going to have a lot of footage on there for my mama. Stuff I might not be able to get on vlogs. All right? And my mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang.